In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a knowledge base using SQL Server 2012's new Data Quality Services. This is a tool that allows you to perform data cleansing tasks to make sure that your data fits particular patterns, fits particular policies, as well as to do data matching to look for duplicates. To create a new knowledge base, you open up the DQS Client tool and click on the New Knowledge Base button. The first thing you need to do is give it a name and if you're working from an existing file you can import a knowledge base or work on one that's already been created. If you're working on one that's already been created or building one that's already have the domain value set you could go straight to the knowledge discovery stage but for this one because I'm starting from a blank canvas I'm going to go to domain management. Within a knowledge base, there are certain domains. These can be thought of as being like columns within a table or fields within a database. So the fields, these domains, are the values you want to look at. They're the elements within your data that you want to compare, that you want to make sure matches your particular policies. So starting from nothing, I have nothing, but I have the option to create a new domain. First thing again you need is a name and I will go for first name. And there are various settings you can make, I'll leave it as the default for this. And again I'll have surname and title. What I can do now, because I've got certain items that belong together that become a single entity, I can create a composite domain, I'll call this full name. And what this does is it allows me to treat these three fields, the name, the surname and the title, as one element rather than three separate things. So I've now got my three domains and one composite domain. I'll add another couple of fields. So I'll have gender and I'll have county. For each of these domains, you have the domain properties. These are the values you set in that first stage, so what type of data is it, whether you should have spell checking, that sort of thing. And there's certain reference data you can apply. So if you want to compare your data to a fixed source, to outside data, you can do so here. So for example, if you have address data and postcodes, you might want to plug in reference data around what postcodes match to what addresses to check that your data is correct. You can also create rules around your data, you can create values that you want to accept and relationships between the various terms. You can do all of this manually but there is a second option which is the knowledge discovery stage. So if I publish this I can then go into knowledge discovery from the main menu by clicking on the arrow next to the name and this allows me to plug in sample data to come up with some of those rules, some of those values automatically. In this case I'll use an Excel file, which is this names file, and I've got certain columns within my file that I can apply. So county, maps to county. What I'm doing here is choosing various columns from the table in Excel and applying them, mapping them, to the values within my knowledge base. Once I've done that for as many as I want, I hit the next button and now we get into the discover phase. When I hit start, the DQS client is pulling up the file, it's going through it and it's adding to my knowledge base the various information that's within the file. So it's looked through the 225 records I've got in my sample and it's pulled in various files, various items and I can look at how many unique values there are within the various records. So there's 159 unique first names, 196 unique second names and four unique genders. Now that one's a bit odd, so if I go to the next stage I can actually delve into the domain values and look at them. So if I go to that gender domain, you've got F, female, M and male. 
And looking at the numbers of how often they occur, it's quite clear that F is the standard, but a couple of people have put female, and the same for M and male. So what I can do now is select the two fields together and create them synonyms. And it's automatically selected that the main value is F because of the numbers we've got. So it's telling me that it will automatically correct female to F whenever it sees data in there. And I can do the same again with male by selecting them together. This means I can now put various data, put my information through this knowledge base, and the knowledge base rules will correct these anomalies to make them match the policy. So you can create rules, create standards, which you can then apply to your data to make sure that all of your information is following the appropriate rules.